First of all, thank you to Suna Versdotter and Frank Schwabe for very good work and to the Committee on Legal Affairs and Great Secretariat of this committee for a very good work. And I want to tell you that is extremely important uh, reports and I want to stress your attention on North Caucasus. That's very important. That shows to all of us what is Russian Empire, what is Russian Federation. In 19th century it was said, it is prison of nations. And it is absolutely true. And those nations who try to rebel and to free themselves, they are suppressed with unbelievable brutality. And these, in North Caucasus we saw it. In 19th century there was a genocide of Cherkess people there. In 20th century there was a genocide of Chechen and Ingush people. When they, just imagine, all nation was, uh, two nations were taken to the trains for livestock and sent in thousands of kilometers. One a third of these people died on the way to Kazakhstan, where they were sent. Just imagine this genocide. And at the end of 20th century, when they again tried to rebel for, for their future and freedom, they again were tortured. Almost 200,000 Chechen people were killed. And for what? To make from Chechen people just fighters for Putin to attack new countries like Ukraine. Unborn in 2000, Chechen boys are now f uh, fighting in Ukraine against Ukrainians, uh, led by collaborant, butcher, and traitor of his own people, Ramzan Kadyrov. That uh, who made in Chechnya something unbelievable. I mean, there is no even Russian law there. People live in North Caucasus like in medieval times. Murderings, rapings, everything just you can imagine. The killing of people and they are doing it. And it's, it's here, not far from us. So our duty as Organization for Human Rights, we need to support these people. These nations, small nations uh, of um, North Caucasus, in their fight for their freedom. Because that is the idea of this Russian Empire, to take one nation after other and to use it against others. They now attack Ukraine, to take Ukrainians, to use them then to attack Finnish people, Polish, Lithuanian, Latvian people. That is the idea of this awful empire. And that is something we need to stop once and forever. Because they, these people, they do not deserve such future. And that is what's going on on our eyes. So let us help these people. Let us free these uh, suppressed nations in Russian Federation. Let us kill this zombie empire once and forever. Let us free these people and give them possibility to live in normal life, not in medieval times, not being just a meat for Putin, like he is using them now. Thank you very much.